Hi, I'm Dave from Core Electronics, and today we're going to run through the first time setup of the Onion Omega 2. We'll need a few things. We'll need an Onion Omega 2 or 2 Plus. We'll need a dock to power the Omega, and a suitable micro USB power supply. Now, since our Wi Fi is a bit weedy here in the uh, Core Electronics Studio. We're also using this external Wi-Fi antenna, which can be plugged into micro UFL connector on top of the Onion Omega. So our first step is to plug in the Omega into your dock board, hook up your USB power, and slide this switch to the on position. This amber LED here is the activity LED. That's the one you're going to want to watch. After a few seconds, it should start blinking. Blinking means that it's booting up. When it stops blinking and becomes solid again, then the board is ready uh, to be set up on your computer. So you'll need a computer with a working Wi-Fi card, and you'll also need a Wi-Fi network with a working internet connection. That's mandatory, as the Onion Omega needs to download the latest firmware and some other software from the cloud. So now we're just waiting for this LED to stop flashing so we can get started. And this will probably take about a minute or so. OK, now that the LED has finally stopped flashing, we can uh, move over to our computer. But before we do, we need to find our Onion Omega's unique name. If you look, on top of the shield on your Onion Omega, you will see a white label with your Omega's MAC address. All you need to take note from this is the last four letters, which are there in bold. Uh, the unique name of your Onion Omega will be Omega dash and then those four characters. If we move over to our computer, first thing we need to do is connect our Wi-Fi to the network that the Onion Omega is hosting. In our list of Wi-Fi networks, It'll be here, here's mine, Omega AFD3. Connect to that. The password is 12345678. It may take a little while for that connection to go through. You'll see there it says no internet, which is fine and secured, so we're connected. And we can then open up our browser. And there are two options for connecting to your Onion Omega. If you're using Linux, a Mac, or Windows with Bonjour service installed, you can use the following address http colon slash slash omega dash and then your unique name dot local. Now, since we don't have Bonjour installed on our PC here, we can connect manually using the IP address, which is 192.168.3.1. And that should bring up the Onion Omega 2 setup wizard. So I'll click start to begin first thing you need to do is log in. The default username and password for the Omega is root and the password is onioneer. Now this step, we need to give the Omega the details of our internet connected Wi-Fi network so that it can connect to the internet and download uh, the latest firmware and a few other bits of software that it needs. So connect to your network. Our network here is guest. Type in the password and click configure Wi-Fi. Now during this process you may lose your computer's connection to the Onion Omega. That's fine. So just wait for a little while and if you do lose the connection here, just reconnect.
All right. The next step is optional. We can choose whether or not we want to register our Onion Omega on the uh, Onion Cloud service. If you do, you need to give your device a name so that you can recognize it. We'll call mine Video Omega. Uh, take care to avoid any special characters here. Anything other than uh, letters or numbers uh, seems to cause a problem. Give it a description so you know what Omega it is in case you're working with more than one of them. Choose Create Device. Now, sometimes this process can be a bit finicky. For whatever reason, it didn't like what I've just given it there, so I might try a, a shorter name. With no spaces. Or other characters. Alright, that's gone through. Now, when registering the device on the cloud, the first step that you didn't see there um, would be to log in to your Onion account. Um, if you don't have an Onion account, it will give you the option to create one. I believe that our browser still had my details in its cookies, and so hasn't shown us that part of the setup. Now, the most important part is this one, which is where we download and install the latest firmware and what's called the console. The console is the web GUI that Onion have developed um, and is not a text console. Um, if you don't check that box there for install console, you'll only be able to interact with your Omega via a SSH terminal shell. So it's probably best for most people to leave that box checked. When we clicked here, upgrade firmware and install console, it'll do exactly that. But it's vitally important that we do not turn the power off or interrupt the board in any way during the firmware upgrade, or it could be permanently damaged. So click upgrade firmware and install console. If you're re-performing this setup after having restored your board to factory setup, it probably won't require a firmware upgrade as, that, as the firmware is not erased during a factory default. Okay. This is the Omega's progress downloading the firmware file from the internet. There is a second, much more important progress bar just after this. This is the firmware actually being written to the device. And as you can see there on the screen, do not unplug the device during this, this period. Cannot emphasize that enough. All right, as you can see there, we've successfully set up the Onion Omega. To log into our um, GUI, if we installed the console, you can just hit refresh on your browser. And hopefully, You may have to reconnect your computer to the Omega's Wi-Fi network. All right, remember the default login is root. And the password is onionier, which brings up the GUI console. All right, that completes the initial setup of your Onion Omega 2 or 2 Plus. I hope you enjoy using it.